This process is best done with your copper assemblies hanging from a small piece of copper wire. This is to minimize any contact and ensure even heating. Once coated, the visual properties of your coils and your copper will change. They will look very dark, but may not necessarily look black. On closer inspection, we can see the coating is very fine. We are seeking an even and consistent coating throughout our coil or copper assemblies. Ensure that your start and your end point of your coils are known. This is very important. The flow of the torch follows the flow of the coils. Clockwise on the inside, counterclockwise on the outside. Light your torch, set it for approximately one-third power. Do not use a large flame. A large flame is difficult to control. Keep your distance from your coils and heat them slowly. Slowly and evenly, we want them to change color consistently. Flame coating is an art. It is not a simple thing to do. It does require practice. Please ensure you do your initial coating practice on something you are willing to lose. Follow the flow pattern from start to finish on your coils. Keep your speed even and gentle. Keep your heat even and gentle. If you have troubles with wires, turn your coil around, but make sure you reverse your directions. Always follow the flow direction of the coils. Here we are beginning to see a change in the color of our coils. This color change will increase as we add more heat to the system. After a minute or two, you will see a colored band following your torch as you travel around the coil. This is what we call chasing the rainbow.
Eventually, you'll notice that the area of the rainbow becomes very narrow and close to the flame. This means you are nearly complete the first session of nano coating. Touch up any areas that you may have missed, any wires that are hanging out that haven't been coated properly. Paint with the flame. Don't hold it on any one point very long. You want to heat slowly. If you wish, you may go back and reheat again, ensuring that you follow the flow pattern of your coils. Once you're satisfied that your coils have been sufficiently coated for the first time, allow them to sit and cool completely down to room temperature before you do the second coating. When nano coating for the second time, you will notice a significant difference in the way the colors present themselves on your copper. This is completely normal. Please ensure that you maintain flow direction and quality of heat while you're nano coating your coils. Smooth, even heating gives the best results. Eventually, the blue will disappear and your coils will be a uniform dark color. At this point, you are nearly finished your flame coating process.
remember the process shown here, the flame is touching the back of the coils. Always follow the flow direction of your coils when you're doing your nano coating. Touch up again any spots that didn't get heated properly so that all of your copper is a consistent dark color. Allow it to sit and cool to room temperature.